Kendo, darling. Uh, there's a lot of rumours as to how you lost a part of your finger, but we want to know what's the real story. Oh, right. Do you know? <laughs> That's what I came here for today. <laughs> right, well, here we go. There's lot that, I mean, the ninja idea, isn't it? That's why I put that about. Uh, Max Crabtree says I lost it in an accident in Genesis in Crew. I never worked in Genesis in Crew. I worked in Genesis in Sandbach. No, I didn't. I lost it this way, and I'm, I never really told anybody because it was. I'll tell you the story. When when I used to work at Bartelli's site in the sixties, car showroom, he had a big guy who was a, a scrap man called Paley. Big family and crew, rough family. And I mean rough, they used to take lead off the church roof, been in prison, all that. And this lad used to come on the front and he'd torment Bartelli. Bartelli's a show wrestler, not a fighting man. So he'd torment Bartelli, he said, come on, Cal, I'll wrestle you, come on, do it, do it. I'll go, I'll do this, and I'll do that. And Bartelli used to say to him, no, I can't wrestle with you because if I hurt you, I'll lose my license. He used to say, oh, bollocks, I, you know. So eventually he found out that I could handle myself, Bartelli did, because he knew. And one day he sets this man up with me. Comes on the shot on the on the car, car side, says to Bartelli all this shit. Bartelli says, I'll tell you what, if you can beat this lad, because I was about probably 19 and a touch. Maybe a bit, a bit old, I'll be, be, be going in 20. Yeah, just going in 20. But it went on. Sets me up, go to his house, Sunday afternoon, on the lawn, rise. He's seen professional wrestling, hasn't he? Thinks we're going to be doing professional wrestling, you know? I grabbed him and got him down, of course, and all three guys are sure, you know? He got up and he wasn't very happy. <laughs> he, 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 you could tell he wasn't happy, and I thought, well, that'll do. About a couple of weeks later, I'm coming out of the gym, the railway gym at Crew, him and his family are waiting for me. And I was going, I got beat up. To about four of these heavy lads, these rough lads, I, you know, did the best of guy. I suppose I, I, you know, I didn't do too badly, but I got my finger bit. Got the end of the finger bit in this skirmish. It was bitten. Just the end, nothing to worry about, just a bite. Went home, got a bandage on it, went to work the next day, bandage on, a bit dressed it and did it. Four days later, I felt really, really ill. And they sent me from work, said go to the hospital, went to the hospital, and I woke up in the hospital with a finger missing. I got set to see me. And that was it. Now Bartelli felt ex we kept this to ourselves because he was very, very embarrassed by it. And that's why the Count bent over backwards to help me into the business, to let me beat him. When he did the unmasking in 66, he did it with me, looked after me like a son. But he, he, did, he, what, he stopped me from going to the Olympic Games. We never spoke of it, but he, he, I, he set me up. He, he, call, he felt he caused it caused it. He probably did. So, but that was it. Thank you for sharing that, Kendo.